you guys. Thank you so much, Jonathan and Joey, for that incredibly generous uh, and I think somewhat illuminating introduction. I've never thought of us as the Ralph Naders. Um, as researchers, we tend to go way nerdier than that, but, um, but we'll take it. First of all, a giant welcome to you. Uh, my name is Kate Crawford. This is Meredith Whitaker. We will be your co-chairs for today. And I want to know who here is feeling very excited about this discussion. Put up your hand because I know a lot of you have flown a long way to be here and we're incredibly excited to have you. If you look around, you'll actually notice that it is an incredibly diverse room today. That is by design. It's something that we think that the AI research field needs a lot more of. And you are here specifically, oh, thank you. You are here because your work has inspired us. That's why you've been invited. You've been doing this work for years. There are a lot of people who have been thinking about the social impacts of artificial intelligence, and it is our pleasure to bring you together for the second annual AI Now Experts Workshop. So when we think about artificial intelligence, and you've absolutely heard what we would agree with, which is that there is no fixed definition, we have to talk about a multitude of things. We need to talk about technical modalities like machine learning, neural nets, natural language processing. We also need to talk about the industry itself, which is highly concentrated with around seven players in the world who are really doing AI at scale, depending how you count. We also need to think about the diverse communities who are being affected very differently by these technologies already, and that is happening now, not in some science fiction future. And we also need to think about the way that AI is already proliferating through criminal justice, healthcare, education, access to credit, and hiring. And so these are some of the sorts of topics we're going to be dealing with today. And in order to understand the full picture, we're going to be calling on all of you. We're also going to need people with very strong technical domain knowledge. And if you look, you'll see a lot of those in the room today. But we also urgently need other perspectives. We need historians to let us know how we got here. We need legal thinkers to help us understand the potential impacts on the justice system. And we're also going to need ethnographers and economists to map the changes to labor, workplaces, and well-being, and policymakers and members of civil society to help turn that research into action. We also need to expand the definition of AI research to include all of these types of practices and disciplines. But let's be clear, AI isn't everything. And the marketing hype will try to tell you that, and we're really going to push back on that today. We want to keep a very critical lens around exactly where AI should be, and it's not going to be everywhere. We have to think about where it's going to be best applied and where it shouldn't be applied. So that's about enough for me. I'm going to throw now to my co-chair, Meredith Whitaker, for you. Thank you, Kate. Uh, Ms. Nader, please. <laughs> um, so a year ago, many of you were here for the first AI Now Experts Workshop. And back then, we didn't know this would be an annual event. Um, but the discussion in that room was so vibrant, and it continued on after the event. And of course, we realized there was so much work to be done that we decided, hey, let's make it yearly. Um, so we're here again for the second annual AI Now Experts Workshop because we want to nurture this work, because we want to build and strengthen this community. Um, today, we are going to focus on four core domains. And these are those that were mapped out in the AI Now 2017 draft report that you all received before the event. Um, to refresh, these are AI in relation to rights and liberties, issues of bias and inclusion, labor and automation, and ethics and governance. This, was report, this report was intended to ground you all in these topics, and you'll notice many of your work was cited in there. Um, but now that we're in the room, we want to kind of build on that discussion. We want to hear from you. You know, how are these issues touching your domain? What are, what are the next steps that this field needs to do to address these tough questions? Um, and how do we get there together? So, before we start in on that, just a quick grounding in our schedule. You have an agenda in front of you or in the bag you were given, um, and here is a rough outline of the day. Um, so the day is divided into roughly two parts. There is the, the, in the morning, we have lightning talks from a number of experts across these four domains, and that's going to be kind of the input section, if you will. 
We will then break for lunch, and that's when the people on the live stream are going to be saying goodbye, and we will return for a closed-door, candid group discussion where we really want to talk about what are the next steps from your perspective, you know, concretely to begin to address these, these, these challenges. Uh, we'll wrap up at around 4, and you will have time outside with some refreshments to meet people, to collaborate on projects, to scheme for the next steps. And then we ask you to be back here at 5.30 for the, for the, for the symposium, the public symposium, um, where you all have VIP seats, um, following which we really want you to join us for the VIP cocktail reception, which will happen right outside where we're having lunch. So a quick note on guidelines and logistics. If you walk out the door, go down the hall on your right, that's where the bathrooms are. And if you have any questions on you know, how things are working, if you need any help, a phone charger, what have you, Emily here is handling all logistics. So here is Emily. That's Ask Emily. Ask her. She is our valiant helper on all things. Um, great. And so that's it for me. I'm going to turn it to Kate for a few guidelines, and then we're going to get started. Beautiful. So before we kick off, a quick request to you. We're going to ask you to do two things today. The first is, during each of these blocks of lightning talks, you're going to be hearing very different disciplinary perspectives, but we'd like you to listen for the threads that join them together, and possibly also the gaps. Where are the things that, that should be here that are not here yet? So if you could sort of think in those sort of syncretic ways as we go through these lightning talks, that would be fantastic, and we would love to hear that from you. Secondly, during the group discussion in the afternoon, we're going to be asking you to provide essentially very concrete steps forward. That's in terms of research agendas. That's in terms of things that industry can do. What are the concrete actions that industry should be taking? And then thirdly, what are some productive advocacy and activism paths that could address some of these issues as well? So they're the top three for you to be thinking about in the afternoon session. Now, if you have a look, we've also given you a bunch of post-its and pens. This is here as a sort of aid memoir, because you're going to be hearing a lot of interesting, very new research. As you have questions and ideas, use that. Jot them down. But also write clearly, because we're going to be collecting them at the end of the break and then at lunch. And that's going to help also guide that group discussion this afternoon. So know that those pieces of paper are very important, but the occasional doodle is also happily appreciated. So feel free to draw as well.